Welcome from uh, Shay Katzi. That seems to be where we're all working from nowadays at home. A bit weird. Um, I wanted to give you a, a little personal thanks and to give you an idea of where this whole thing came from and what we're hoping to do. Um, so essentially, a bunch of people, technologists and agencies and communicators, started thinking that we really wish we could do something to help. Um, what we then did was start to think through what's already being done, where are the problems. The problem we decided to try and solve was that we found that 25,000 frontline workers tweeted about the fact they didn't have what they needed to keep them safe, by which I mean the protective equipment. So we thought, what isn't being done that we could help with to make sure that they get what they need when they need it? So we thought if we had live open data, that could only help the decision makers make better decisions. So we together, and there's four or five different agencies and some technologists, there's about 20 of us that have been working on it for free because we want to help. Um, we decided to come up with a platform which essentially will invite people on the front line to tweet us with their location saying what they need so that we can put them on a map so we can give them a real-time voice because we believe that if people have good data contextual data they can make better decisions so at the end of each day we're going to compile um, a kind of overview of what's gone on and uh, a data report so that we can send it back to the powers that be or to indeed anybody else who wants it to show what's going on where um, and to show where the progress has been made. So we're really hoping it's going to help. Uh, we've got thus far, now we need a bunch of people to make sure that it's as efficient and effective as possible. So we are truly, truly grateful that you're offering to give us your time for free over the next few weeks to make sure that our healthcare workers, our frontline heroes, get the protective equipment that they need when they need it. Thank you so much.